Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are playing, well, up on the screen, Daytona USA on the Sega Saturn. Um, yeah, this is kind of one of the first 3D racing games I played after the Amiga, but it's it was particularly mind blowing because on the Amiga I played like things like Stunt Car Racer and Formula One Grand Prix. And they were impressive for the time, but then this was kind of another thing again. This is in fact though the Championship Circuit Edition, which I didn't have at the time. I just had the normal version, and this version does look a little better. So uh, let's get straight into it. Yeah, it's got a couple of extra tracks that the previous version didn't have, but we're going to go for the first one. And I think a couple of different cars as well, if I remember rightly. But we are going for the classic Hornet, and yes, we're going automatic transmission. Gentlemen, <laughs> start your wasn't a great start. <laughs> Basically, I was pushing the wrong button, uh, of course. <laughs> so yeah, it's all right. It doesn't look impressive now, but when this came out, this was really genuinely impressive. Now, around the time, well, bef uh, before this version came out, I had already switched allegiances and uh, and gone for a PlayStation One. But I still had my uh, my Saturn when I when the first version of this came out and it was genuinely good uh, and it was very enjoyable it was then it's kind of the reason why I I switched really as well because whilst this was this looked good and it played well 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 enough it's a bit um, <laughs> the control isn't great uh, though a lot of that obviously is again my really bad playing but uh, but then I had the chance to try uh, Ridge Racer out at a friend's house and yeah that was basically that so <laughs> I'm going to run out of time <laughs> on the first lap okay let's try that again <laughs> yeah so I got to try Ridge Racer out at a friend's place and it was just so so much better that yeah <laughs> it was no there was no contest you place audio <laughs> come on let's get straight back into it right let's try again this time gentlemen start your <laughs> this time let's try not to spin our car immediately by pressing the wrong button doesn't use the shoulder buttons I, I'm not particularly upset by that because the shoulder buttons on the Sega on the original satin pad are not the greatest they're not really designed to be used as, uh, as triggers as such it's designed to be used as, as buttons <laughs> so uh, they wouldn't work too well in the game like this yeah we're doing much better now Ooh, no, out my way yeah the collisions weren't great um, there wasn't the physics weren't particularly whoa we're spinning we're spinning all right we're back on we're back on we're fine <laughs> the physics weren't exactly uh world class but they were good enough for an arcade racer and uh this was a pretty pretty good conversion of what was at the time a, a really really top spec arcade game i mean this was genuinely impressive in the arcades i didn't see anything that were kind of as solid as as that game was. I mean, plenty of 3D racers up to that point, but they just they didn't feel solid. They just kind of felt like you were driving around hollow objects. But on the arcades, this just it just genuinely felt like a solid game that like you were driving a solid car around. And they, you know, they got as close as they possibly could over on the Saturn. Now, obviously, there's uh, there's subsequent versions out on other machines which are much better. 
but that still doesn't take away from the fact that this was a massive achievement. Especially in the, the Saturn, which was really quite difficult to program for. And didn't quite have the same grunt as... Ooh, as the uh, PlayStation did. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> for somebody who just wanted to play the best games, uh, the PlayStation, unfortunately, just took it. This is better. Once you're um, once you're kind of in a groove, you can get it. The problem comes as soon as you you get hit at the right point by one of the computer cars, and it's the physics are such that you'll either nothing will happen, or you'll just instantly spin. Now you can probably see the timer and what we ran out of time for. So this is a checkpoint racer. So the idea it's like many racing games of this time, like including Outrun and stuff, where it's not so much that you have to finish a course or such, it, you have to get from checkpoint to checkpoint within a time. So we ran out. But unlike a lot of the car games, it doesn't kind of roll. So there's a few car games where I would have been able to roll at that point and it would have just allowed me to finish. Hmm. In fact, it crashed. Oh, no, no there we go. <laughs> you play seventh. Well, seventh is fine. I mean, that's pretty good considering. Yeah. You know what, it's okay. If you've got a Saturn, you should definitely have a copy of, of uh, Daytona. Some of the music is really good as well. And yeah, no, it's worth getting. It really is worth getting. It's it's fine. It's not the greatest racer ever, but it's pretty good. The controls are, aren't quite as tight as they could be. Uh, but it's, it's not terrible, and uh, it's worth playing. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.